Welcome to Wendy and Ria's Art. This is Wendy and I'll be showing you today the creation of a commission painting that the client called Freshwater Crossing. What you see here is the first layer of the canvas and I did this by using a gel print um, of the leaves and feathers directly onto the canvas. I'll put a link in the description and it will show you how I did this in a different video. Then I used some leftover pour paint um, to make this little section. Of Just added something a little bit different and a different texture to the canvas. I was going to add some black uh, mark making to this bottom layer, but Ria came over to me with a, a bowl of ready-made leftover green paint that she'd finished with, so I thought, why not? And then she suggested that with the instrument, I would the tool that I was using to use it like a brush and it made some beautiful strokes. So good idea, Ria. Um, so then I've continued on to add a few different colors now in a, um, alcohol inks. I just wanted to mess up this bottom layer with the leaf prints on it and the bit of uh, leftover acrylic fluid paint. Um, so yeah, just putting some different alcohol inks down and then I'll give it a little bit of a spray in a minute just to get it moving a little bit but yeah I just want to have some nice interesting splotches and marks under my first layer of paint so my bottom layer is always fairly busy but that's how I like it. I'm now using a blue paper towel um, just to mop up some of the alcohol inks, inks and just knock that colour back a little bit. I want it to be not too bright and, and a little bit muted. Uh, the greens were a little bit bright so those blue paper towels are excellent for doing that. So they still nice and green but just knocking that colour back a little bit for me. So that's looking much more like I was aiming for. Okay, so I've done the bottom layer uh, with some interesting splotches and leaf prints and um, marble pores. So now I'm going to use a golden fluid acrylic Titan Green Pale and I'm just going to put a couple of areas in with that. Okay, so as you can see, I have applied some stencil work down the bottom here. I forgot to turn the things and the camera on, but what I used was a Daniel Smith watercolour ground, and I used a palette knife to put it on through the stencil, and it was quite thick, which is what I wanted, because I, wanted, I want to put some... Um, extra detail into these stones here. This stencil here is a different stencil with smaller stones. And what I'm going to do is use Liquitex Professional Spray Paint Parchment Colour to um, put some stencil work up here. Hi everyone, I'm back at this artwork again and I'm so sorry I forgot to turn the, the video on. I get a bit carried away in my own thoughts, but what I have done is, I, so I did the um, watercolour ground on the bottom rocks, as you can see. Then on the top set of smaller rocks, I've done some with the watercolour ground and left a lot of the others. Then I have added quinacridone nickel azo gold in the golden colours to this section here. Once it's dry, my plan is to cover it with Payne's grey paint 
to make a nice dark area, but to scratch through with my pods to bring out that orange underneath. Um, and then I was looking at it and I wanted to have a bit more blue in it. So I've been using this spatter brush uh, by Liquitex. It's normally used to sort of spatter, but I put some Payne's Grey watery colour on it. And I've just been making some marks on the top in the blue, in the dark blue. So in some of the parts where there were, was black underneath, I have done the blue over the top. So just basically doing this. It's just about dry. Hold on, get a bit more water. And just, yeah, just um, running this brush to get a few more blue marks. to put some Ara acrylics in a Payne's Grey over the top of this and then scratch through to make my little pod shapes that I like to make. one's drying I'm just going to put some Titan Green Pale um, on some of the lighter areas just to knock back some of these darker bits okay Now I'm going to add the Golden High Flow Quinacridone Nicolazzo Gold and I'm going to do some drips. So this is quite fluid. I've also got a little spray bottle of alcohol and some spray water. So let's see how we go. So I'll just put some on with the brush to start with. Kick. put some green drips over here. The Quinacridone Nicolazzo Gold ones have dried beautifully so 
What I thought I'd do this time is put some dark sap green, which is this green here on the bottom. I haven't tried this before, so <laughs> we'll see if it works. Um, so putting some of that along the bottom. And using the green gold on the top. Green gold's much thicker. Uh, we'll probably take a bit of water to move it. Okay, let's see what happens. So, we'll spray with the water. If the water's going to spray, here we go. Tip it off. It's a bit thick. And a bit of alcohol. Grips coming now. So I want them to sort of drip that way. So I'll just hold it on a bit of an angle. Okay, I don't want them to go all the way. That one's okay, but the rest of them. I want some different length ones. I'll just wipe that little bit off there. So it goes straight over. And it's quite thick here, but it looks quite nice. It's sort of a little bit marbled, so that's okay. I ended up putting a bit of um, clear plastic over this green section and let it dry overnight and later on in the video I'm hoping that you'll see the texture that it made when I lift it off. Now I'm going to do some yellow largish dots using yellow ochre. Um, this is a golden fluid acrylic, yellow ochre. It's not coming out as well as you want, just add a bit of water to thin it down a bit. Green new permanent liquitex paint marker. So I've decided to use 
a Neo Color 2 Aquarell water soluble wax pastel in the olive, light olive color. Um, and what I find is when I use these, if I dip them in water, um, it makes it easier to get a good solid pigment there. So I've just got to work out where I'm going to do this. Um, getting a little bit full, but I do want some green, light green. So this has been drying overnight and now I'm just lifting the plastic which has been on the little green area that I did for the drips and there you have a, a nice little spot of texture um, thanks to the, the plastic. Um, the more you scrunch it up the more little interesting bits of texture you get. So that was uh, well worth doing. I quite like the look of that. So here I'm finally getting around to doing the watercolour effect on these stones at the bottom. The watercolour ground takes one to two days to cure, so I left it for a full two days just to make sure it was ready. I'm mixing up some very watery acrylics. One is using a Payne's Grey, one a sepia, one in a Titan Buff and one in the Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. So they're very watery um, little bowls of paint and I'm going to speed it up now because <laughs> I spent many, many hours. So I'm not going to show you me doing a whole lot of them. It will bore you to tears. So I'll start off um, in the bottom right hand corner and then I'll maybe just show some photos as I go. But I'm basically putting a brush with water down on the first stone and then just grabbing little bit, little drops of each of the colours and dropping into the, the stone. So you'll see me, I'll, I'll speed it up just a little bit and then I'll really speed it up just to let you have a look at what I'm doing. So I hope you find this as relaxing as I did, but it sure did take a long time.
Okay, so I've nearly finished this uh, piece. It's a commission piece and I was sort of thinking I was finished, but I haven't done my line work. I normally do it much sooner than this, but I, I just feel like it needs a little something. So there's a few little things that I want to do. And one of them is using a Sakura solid marker um, just to put some black lines in. Now, I like to put them all over, so let's just see how this goes. Just trying to look at where the busy places are and where I can feed some lines. Okay, I'm feeling like coming from over here, so. black lines I also like to do some thinner black lines finished all the line work I'm going to do. Uh, the next thing I was thinking was, I, I love this colour here, Quinacridone Nicolazzo Gold from Golden Paints. And it's, it's the colour is in the rocks, but I just felt like for balance, I need some other area with that colour in it. So what I'm going to do is paint some pods in that colour. I'm just trying to decide where. I'm sort of thinking around here, but then it's exactly opposite. So maybe I could do a few up here and a few down here. That might be nice. Okay. So now I'm going to add some fern stencils using Cadmium Yellow Light Hue Liquitex Spray Paint. Okay, so I'm now finished this painting and the client has named it freshwater crossing. So I'm just zooming in to show you some close-ups of the, the painting. I hope you enjoyed watching the process. I had a lot of fun creating it. Um, so please like and subscribe to Wendy and Ria's Art. Um, we're trying to put out as many videos as we can um, with all our different techniques and, and skills that we can show you. So enjoy the rest of the close-ups and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye from Wendy.